guys, these are your cards for November 1st, 2019. I hope you had a safe and happy Halloween. Our cards today are Goddess of the Moon, The Thinking Woman, Happy Family, Bloss Blossoming Abundance in the Reverse, Door to Romance, and then I pulled some Archangel cards because I was drawn to pull them. And I pulled, it's like an Oracle um, Affirmation kind of card deck. So I just wanted to make some quick notes from um, Astrological Answers. The actual official Mercury retrograde starts October 31st to November 20th. The sun is in Scorpio. The moon is in Sag. And the that Sag is a fire sign. So the moon is on fire. So emotions are strong. Um, Scorpio influences us as a time of indulgence. So they're saying the 30th, the 31st. So Halloween night indulge so they're saying it's okay to eat that candy <laughs> and the moon actually is telling us what what the moon influence is is telling us what controls our our emotions in the evening and while we sleep we still have four planets under the influence of scorpio so emotions are intense so going along with the mercury retrograde my goodness so if they're intense maybe they'll like you know the opposite it'll be a little you know maybe this might be a chill mercury retrograde you know here's hoping so we have the goddess of the moon is our first card here. We gotta remember to be kind to ourselves under this time. That big beautiful full moon that she carries with her. Intuition, going within. This card shows an, an external spirit holding a bright, reflective moon and standing in front of a crystal clear water of a sparkling waterfall. And her arms are stretched out upright, receiving the light. Excuse me. It's hard to do this with one hand. Receiving the light on the moon of inspiration. This card is also about intuition and the abilities to receive insight from your soul's point of view. Receiving this card upright tells you that you have the power to get intuitive information for all types of, of uh, all types of issues. And now is the time to use it. The goddess of the moon brings you all sorts of information. Minute to the spectacular. So even the littlest, smallest things that you wouldn't even expect. The smallest little sign is still a message from spirit. For instance, you could get the urge to take a different way, ho route home from work to find out later that you avoided a three-hour tra traffic jam. So what I was telling on my live on the IG is that we it's raining really hard here. So we were unable to go out trick-or-treating. My boys um, unfortunately have the genetics of horrible ear infections. So this weather pattern reflected two years ago trick-or-treat. And a couple of days later, my boys, both of my boys were in bed screaming their lungs out because they both had ear infections and their ears had popped. So I was like, you know what? Let's just stay home, make it safe. So we are watching Toy Story 4. And if any of you have watched Toy Story 4... Buzz is on his journey, and what he, does he do? He's by himself. He pushes his button, and it, he says, "What will my inner? What would my inner voice tell me?" And he pushes his button, and it's his toy voice. And this Toy Story four, he's listening to his inner voice. He's listening to his intuition. Yes, it's a cartoon, and some of you are like, "What a bunch of hoopla!" But what has Spirit been telling us all along, especially with the tide, the the woman tied up two days ago. Her crown chakra was highlighted, her her uh, thyroid was uh, highlighted, her throat, her voice, and her ears were highlighted. So this is a time, especially in the, under this intense energy, the fiery moon of Sag, they're telling us to listen to our, our intuition in this time. So pay attention, just like Buzz Lightyear did, because he didn't have Woody to consult with now this time. He pushed, he said, what would my inner voice do? He pushed the button on him and it told him what to do. The goddess of the moon brings you all sorts of information from minute to spectacular. Or you might have an idea for great, uh, great invent, a, a great invention, a stock investment, or a spell binding novel. This card could also include and indicate a significant uh, blooming of, phys of psychic abilities and mediumship. Even a on even on a professional level. So we've got this before. You're always blessed with abilities to connect. But this card is telling you that now is the perfect time to open up and get ready for amazing inspirations this spring. 
so the second card we got is the thinking woman in reverse. So I assume that this woman would be in the upright position. It's like, you know, this is someone you can count on. This is someone you always go to because she's highly intelligent. She's reading a book. She's got her books here. Like she always makes sure she has all of her facts. She has a scroll in her hand. And she has her crown chakra highlighted here with this beautiful uh, flower um, crown around her head. Her crown chakra again. So it's like this is someone you think you could count on. But in this reverse position, this is someone actually trying to mis uh, lead you. And we had that earlier last week. A, a man and a woman were going to manipulate us. So, you know, here we go again. This woman is coming to the forefront for some if she hasn't come already. Female of wisdom and understanding. This is why I always take this as a card of someone you could count on if you're going through something. You know, that girlfriend that you could call at four in the morning and she'll pick up your phone call. This card reveal of reversed could represent a difficult time of your own personal growth. You may be feeling confused about your personal purpose or disconnect from your uh, heart's pure path. Look within and open to your own inner guidance. Trust your intuition about where you need to where you need to uh, learn, lean or order to move on. The thinking woman reverse can also in indicate a woman who is misleading or giving you misinformation of some sort. Be aware, set boundaries, and respect those boundaries and protect your energy. Because, you know, some people don't understand that, you know, you're, you're, you're draining people's energies and they're left all depleted and they're all full. So you, you have to watch your energy, especially under the Mercury retrograde. Remember, your own spirit is always your best guide. Affirmation. I open my mind and my heart to my own inner wisdom. I am thoughtful, focused, and clear. So try to keep that affirmation with you. Happy family. I absolutely love this card. I, I love this because this is the covenant that God has this is the symbol of the covenant God has between humans and uh, and himself. This is a symbol of good luck. This is also a symbol from loved ones that have passed to you saying, I'm here. I love you. I'm protecting you. Also good fortune. We, we have like the, the pot of gold here. It's just a beautiful moment. It's, it's basically to me, this card is telling you to put more of your focus on family right now, especially with the holidays coming up. This rainbow over this family pertains to a time of joy and celebration. Close connections are available. So don't overlook the fun and flavority of that friends or family experiences can bring. So this happened tonight with us. Um, uh, Halloween night. Uh, my oldest son is 11 and he's in, he's in that tween stage where he, he still loves kid things, but he also loves, you know, more grown things and we didn't as I said we didn't go trick-or-treating so he wanted to go upstairs and my mother was kind enough to come over and bring them some chocolates because they didn't go trick-or-treat and I said to him no you're not going upstairs I said your mamere is over you're going to sit down watch the movie with us and spend time with us my mom my mom was very so kind and said you know don't like let him go upstairs and I said no he goes well I want to draw and then we came up with the idea go get your drawing supplies sit on the carpet draw you know while we're watching a movie. At least we're in the same room together. You know, I sat beside him on the floor watching him draw. And I watched, was watch, in and out watching the movie. And we enjoyed it as a family. And we got to instill that in our young children. To respect our elders. And to respect family. And, you know, it's a computer. You know, it has no emotions. It has nothing. You know, we don't want to raise our children like that. Not, not instilling those family values in them. So sorry to be preachy or anything. But... You know, we also got to give that love to ourselves. We can be our own family, our own best friend. Don't keep hidden behind the computers. Don't keep hiding behind the phones. <clears throat> the value that you find is truly loving. Uh, a, a truly loving relative or friend can bring a higher vibration to your life force. You may uh, distract, be distracted or busy, but remember to put this part of your life in the forefront of your priorities. If you're single, find, finding this card in your spread can could indicate a potential meeting or perhaps relationship with someone who has children from a previous marriage. 
This ready-made family might bring some challenges, but it could be your destiny in this lifetime. This card may also signif simply signify a celebration coming up, such as a wedding, anniversary, or birthday party. Enjoy. And actually, my late husband's birthday and my father's, my late father's birthday are next week. My um, late husband is on Monday the 4th, and my late father is the 7th. So, you know, we're deciding this year, instead of putting up candles and, you know, mourning and stuff and playing his favorite music, we'll still play his favorite music, but we're going to do what we did on his last birthday. We, um, he loved homemade cakes. His mother always made him a homemade double-double chocolate cake. So we're going to do the same. We're going to make him a homemade double chocolate cake, and we're going to uh, sing happy birthday to him and my father and make this, you know, unfortunate um, parting temporary parting um a celebration of life and sit there and enjoy sing them both happy birthday and you know remember all the good times that we did get to enjoy with him with both of them and know that they're always with us so this is what i'm saying like you know enjoy those times instead of you know watching tv by yourself you know go sit with your child and watch them play video games i enjoy gaming myself so it's, you know, it's, it doesn't bother me. I love gaming. It's something that always brought us together as a family is watching certain TV shows and watching movies and playing video games. So playing board games, my, my youngest loves board games. So, you know, try to put, you know, put that busy schedule aside, even for an hour, you know, once a night, once a week, you know, on the weekends to make one day a family night, if you can make family a priority again. I open myself to a new and deeper experience of family. I am ready to uh, see great happiness there. I know that I am the loving family that I need. So some of us aren't born into the greatest of families, but we can make our own families. You know, some of us are lucky enough to find a tribe and call that family. I'm very lucky, you know, in my lifetime after everything I've been through, I lost a lot of people along the way. You know, being a widow, you think people would come around and support you? I've lost a lot of people. No one wants to hear about my loss. No one wants to hear about my feelings. No one wants to hear about anything. So no one talks to me anymore, and that's quite fine. But I found a new tribe, and they listen to me, and I listen to them. That's what I'm saying. You know, sometimes we got to reinvent ourselves. Blooming abundance. So this is in the reverse position. I actually thought on the IG that this meant money was coming into our life, but it's actually I was re I was thinking of the reversed or the positive. No, the reverse position. Oh my gosh! Now I'm all confused. <laughs> Mercury retrograde. <laughs> I'll just blame it on that. <laughs> Increasing wealth and value. This card re uh, reverse reveals a potential decrease in money with the coins falling from the garden. Uh, out of sight sometimes when you see this card it, it this is in this position it may even feel as though cash is slipping through your fingers like water while this might seem like an ongoing state of affairs it it could you could still uh turn things around one thing especially with the holidays try to keep on a budget um, try and instill, especially kids at a young age, try to uh, open a savings account and try to put five, 10 or $20 in a month, just as a rainy day fund. You know, you might find, you know, yourself in a situation where you might need extra cash, especially after the holidays when all those bills start coming in, you know, try to buy things with more meaning. You know, someone want, is cold in the winter, maybe buy them an electric blanket. I actually... We have a store called Rossi's in my area. They have a nice one for like a hundred dollars, and it's real. It's like one of those faux fur fluffy blankets, and it's it's really quite beautiful. So it's like you know, buy meaningful gifts. You know, and stay on stay on a budget. You know, if you are come from a big family, maybe tell the, tell the adults, let's just buy for the kids. Don't worry about us. Like you know, we have everything we need. You know, there's nothing wrong with that. Be very cautious. Uh, ca cautious. And responsible where money issues are concerned, take action to plant new seeds and nurture your financial garden with patience and clarity. This cycle will end and you will in time enjoy the fruits of your labor. So this is only temporary again. So the affirmation, abundant wealth blooms all around, around me. I see value in everyday life. You know, try to use things that are around your house more, you know, 
uh, try to eat out less. Like, I know um, we've been, you know, eating out a little more than we usually do. So it's like, you know, I've been telling the kids, like, you know, we got to, you know, dial that back. <clears throat> Especially with Christmas, and they know that. I said, you guys, you know, you got to think about others. It's not always about you. So the door to romance. So this could be, you know, the the romance. Is, it's like Valentine's feelings, you know, anniversary feelings. So, you know, finding that fire again in your relationship. So we have got this card, you know, a lot this week, uh, Wednesday, Thursday, and now today, Friday. So this is saying the person that was on the sidelines or the person from your past is coming in is now in the forefront. This is also, remember when we got the woman all tied up, she wasn't sure, you know, she, she, you know, go to this person that is now in the forefront, you know, causing her distress or she, she, should she try to stay in her relationship and work things out? That's why I pulled the archangel cards for better, clearer guidance, because it was like, it was, you know, it was like some people will try to find the relationship harmony and some people it's like, you know, they know that this relationship is over and they stayed longer than they should have. So just keep in mind with the door to romance, you know, do what's best for you. Like again, you know, at the end of the day, it's the two of you laying down in that bed and nobody else. Again, with the emperor card, don't let the world chime in on your relationship. You judge with your heart. Like Buzz Lightyear did. Uh, did. You know, what would my inner voice say? And he pushed the button and it would tell him something. New beginnings in love. Whether you're looking for a new relationship or just love in uh, love in the relationship you're in, this door with hearts opens onto a new beginning in beginning in your experience. So again, what are you experiencing right now? Are you a single person or are you like already in a relationship? You know, we're finding our voice again, and maybe you made it clear, like you know, let's go on a date night every Friday. You know, maybe for an hour if you know it's impossible to find childcare. And your kids go to full time uh, school, then maybe do it while they're in school. Just try to make yourselves a priority again. New love may be arriving, and you are, um, excuse me, being brought together by a strong, resonant connection. This can, uh, this may be a a call from the past life. So, like you know, when you meet someone, it's like, damn, it's like I feel like I've known you for a year. I feel like I've known you forever. So this is someone that feels comfortable with you feel comfortable with them. This is a comfortable love coming in, or it may be a new tenderness um, about to bloom into heartfelt affection. This relationship already, this relationship already exists in energetic potential. So when this card appears in your spread, make sure you are projecting the kind of self loving energy that you want to receive from others. Be aware that the universe returns your self-caring treatment to you. It's ready to open the door. Are you? So I'm going to read the affirmation of that. As I open the door to my own self-love, I attract more and more love, tenderness to me, loving tenderness to me. So it's about self-love is too, but you know, try to do it on a budget. <laughs> Because we have money counting issues coming up. So gentleness. Be very gentle with yourself at this time. Surrender yourself. Surround yourself with gentle people, situations, and environments. Sometimes when I'm reading the booklets, it's like, you know, spirit sends me images and stuff. Courage. Be courageous. Oh, it's going out. And stand up for your beliefs. I mean, when I say going out, I mean like out of focus. <clears throat> We got this card the last three days. Taking back your power. It's a beautiful card. Use your God-given power and in, see we go again. Come on. Intentions to manifest blessings in your life. So especially with the Mercury retrograde, don't get down on yourself. Be kind to yourself. Enjoy like they said, astrological answers, give them a follow. They don't pay me for that. I just really love them. Um Give them a follow. Like they have a lot of information, a lot of guidance. You know, they usually go, but I think it's sometimes um, two days. And then on the weekends, they go Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So, you know, and then, and then Monday, like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, then three days. So give them a follow. They have a, gr a lot of great information, to helpful tools to help you get through the Mercury retrograde, built up energies. 
Remember what the astrological answer says by being under the influence of Scorpio. We have uh, four planets under the influence of Scorpio. This is a time of indulgence. But remember with the money card, like, you know, they're telling you watch your purse strings right now, especially with Christmas coming up. Watch your overindulgence. And please stop by for the live uh, soul work. S-O-U-L-W-R-K is going to be at soul work is going to be the host and she's going to host three other intuitives. So there's going to be three into uh, four intuitives all together as Aaron is the host and um, come bring your questions. Maybe you are someone that, you know, is starting to get into uh, readings and um, helping and healing. So come on, bring your questions. Um, it's, I say follow Aaron because you know, I don't know exactly. I've never done this kind of live where it's like a split screen. So I don't know if her, the followers of like JJ Constellations or um, Lightwork2332 two, uh, two, three, three, two will um, see everything. So give it a, give Erin a follow, Soul Work, as she's the host. And then you'll be able to watch all four. That way you won't have to go scrambling here and there and everywhere. So come join us. It's going to be a lot of fun, and I hope to see you there. Bring your questions. Uh, we are going to be doing a Halloween theme, so um, I believe we'll be wearing hats of some sort. So, you know, come and join, and, you know, if you want to dress up with us, you're more than welcome to. Bring your questions, and I hope to see you there. Have a blessed weekend, and we'll see you on Monday for the next Daily Tarot Card.